U.S. Military Academy at West Point is one of the world's leading educational institutions that is creating leaders in many fields, including the sciences. Colonel John Graham is one of them. He is a graduate who works for the Academy as their Associate Dean for Research and Chief Scientist. For the past year, he's been watching a new science center being created at the Academy by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and he's excited about what this will mean for the cadets. The, the Science Center has, is just a huge leap for us here at the Academy. The renovations of the Science Center has, is just amazing uh, on a number of fronts. Uh, first that you're able to do, the Corps of Engineers has figured out a way to do the, the renovations while we still occupy the building. Okay, in this building right now, we have, again, there are, in the basement is, is run by the physics department. There are certainly there's physics classrooms and there are also optics and laser type laboratories. As we work our way up, the first floor is general chemistry, two monster laboratories, this one here, which is the biggest, and then there's also one across the hall, which is about half this size. And again, and this is the size of these labs is very important because every cadet that enters the academy is required to take both physics and chemistry, and both of those classes come with required labs. The second floor of the building is now the more advanced chemistry classes. And then the third, third floor of the building is life sciences, which has to do with biochemistry, biology, and classes of that nature. The renovation includes combining two existing buildings to create one large state-of-the-art multi-purpose science facility. What makes this project unique and challenging is that the Army Corps is only renovating the insides of the buildings. They are preserving the 200-year-old granite exteriors. The entire building shell, including even including the, the entrance doors, were maintained. The doors were refurbished and reinstalled. The granite was all not was all not touched. So the entire building shell remains exactly the way it was. The renovation is largely completed and the new science center is expected to be finished in 2016. The ultimate renovation as it occurs and as it completes is really a huge step forward for the academy. Prior to this renovation we were still using equipment that I would argue might date back to 1802. Uh, so we really are not only using the refurbishment of the building itself to, to have a better facility, but we're changing our lab equipment within it. So the science we're able to do is actually moving into this century and beyond. So